morning everyone today's video is going to be a what i eat in the day so i'm going to share everything that i eat all the yummy vegan food from morning till night starting with breakfast for breakfast this morning i am having old-fashioned oats so i just pour my hot water in there for my kettle and then once the oats have soaked that up and gotten soft then i add some almond milk and then a big handful of berries so blueberries blackberries i really just use whatever i have on hand that morning so it could be raspberries maybe even like strawberries and banana or something like that but anything that's packed full of antioxidants is so good for your skin so try to get some of that in every day into your diet and also in the morning one of my favorite things is lemon water it's just really refreshing and I don't know it's just something about it it just really feels like cleansing to the body so I really enjoy that first thing in the morning and I'll have a couple of glasses of that and then I'll switch to just my regular water you know I just refill my hydro flask all throughout the day and then for lunch, I'm gonna make tacos. So I have this organic tofu. It's organic non-GMO tofu, and you can get this at Costco. And then I'm gonna add some avocado oil to my wok. And then I just kind of crumble the tofu into it. So you don't have to slice it or anything. Just like take your hands, get right in there, crumble it in there. And then I'll add some salt and pepper, just some sea salt and fresh ground pepper. And I'll add some turmeric and then any spices that you have, you know, anything that you like. I'm adding this Mexican Fiesta spice. It just makes it really good and just adds an extra bite to it. It makes a really good Southwestern vegan breakfast taco. And it's basically exactly like scrambled eggs. It's such a good replacement for eggs. If you don't like to eat eggs or if you're trying to go vegan and you still like to eat scrambled eggs, this is a good way to get around that. And while the tofu is still cooking, I'll go ahead and start slicing up all my fixings for it, like tomato and onion, avocado, cilantro, all that good stuff. And I like to cook my tofu where it's more on the well done side, where it has a little bit of that goldenness to it and it's just a little more firm. And then most of the time throughout the day, I will just drink water, but sometimes I'll do a green juice or something like that. But today I'm just gonna have a treat for lunch. I'm gonna do this LaCroix. It's just a sparkling, like a sparkling water beverage. I get these at Target sometimes. This is the cherry lemon, no, not lemon, cherry lime flavor, which I love. And it's fun to just add like a splash of juice or something to it if you wanna spice it up a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a splash of orange juice. And then, so that's just gonna be a treat. I just do that once in a while. And then for all my fixings, I've got avocado, tomato, onion, cilantro, olives, um, jalapeno peppers, and then the tofu, black beans. And so those are all the fixings that I'm gonna have on my vegan Southwest breakfast tacos. And I've got already got my shells made up, so I just cook those, you know, just, you know, throw them in the pan, heat them up uh, with a little bit of oil. And then the sour cream, I actually discovered a different sour cream that I like better than this one. I mean, depending on what you like, this one is actually more like a liquidy. It's like a little bit of a softer type of cream. And then the tofu one, it comes in a little blue container. It's thicker. It's like really thick and super rich and that's kind of become my favorite. I absolutely like I'm obsessed with vegan sour creams. And then for an afternoon snack, I have some pomegranates that I'm going to eat up. So I have two of them here that I just slice in half and then I put them in a bowl of water and then I'll just break them apart that way and get all those delicious little jewels apart and underneath the water just because it's easier and you don't have to worry about, you know, clothes getting stained or the little red juice spraying onto your clothes or anything like that. And then I'll just use a colander to drain them or you can use a strainer or whatever you have around and just drain them and then pour all those delicious little ruby red kernels into a bowl and you're ready to eat them. And then for a later afternoon snack, I'm gonna make a vegetable plate with hummus. I love snacking on vegetables throughout the day. It's just like such a handy little treat instead of eating like chips or you know something else that might not be as good for you. And so I like to have these sweet mini peppers and then I'll have this, um, like I'll grab some handfuls out of the stir fry kit. And this stir fry kit is just at Costco. It just has like carrots and broccoli, um, like sugar peas, like all kinds of just really good vegetables. And then just add some hummus on the side and you've got a really healthy, good treat for the afternoon. And you can make your own hummus too, which sometime we will have to do that on here. I'll have to show you guys how to make your own hummus at home. It's super, super easy. All right. And then for kind of like, you know, a later kind of beverage treat, I'll do some tea. So I'm going to do some Egyptian mint green tea. And if you don't like mint, then you wouldn't like this because it is pretty minty, but I really like it. And so I'll even add, well, right now I use two, two tea bags because I'm making iced tea and then I'll just throw Throw in, you know, I'll cool it down, throw some ice in there, and then I'll transfer it because I'm just a weirdo. I like to have, oh my, there we go. Yes, I forgot all about that. <laughs> I forgot that I spilled it all over our cutting board. Don't tell Michael that's how our cutting board got tea stained. Okay, so then I add just like a sprig of mint. But anyway, I'm just a weirdo about having like the way that I drink my tea. If it's iced, I have to have it in a clear glass like this. I can't drink it out of the mug iced. 
It has to be hot in the mug or iced in a cup like this. We had these persimmons that we wanted to use up, so I thought, well, why don't I make some coconut whipped cream and we'll do them over the persimmons, like slice them up. Um, so here's how I do the coconut whipped cream, which I've shown before in our vegan challenge week. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I promise I know how to use a can opener here. <laughs> I was having some trouble there. But all right, okay, so I have two cans of this coconut milk. I get these at Costco in a big pack and I keep them in the fridge. Like I'll keep, you know, six cans of coconut milk in the fridge and that's you want it to be nice and cold because um, then it makes all the cream kind of go to the top and it's really thick and easy to scrape out of there and then any leftover save that don't throw that out you can just pour that into like a mason jar or something and save that and add it to smoothies or you know different things later on um, so I'll just go ahead and put that away and then I'm gonna add some pure vanilla extract to our coconut cream there and then you know you could add a little sweetener if you want i'm using sweet drops uh, in the vanilla cream or you can add like a tiny little dash of you know whatever your sweetener of choice is um, it could be maple syrup or whatever you like and then you just whip it and just whip it like you're whipping regular whipped cream just you know until it gets kind of like peaky and nice and frothy and then i just sliced up the persimmons and then i just pile on that coconut whipped cream on top and you guys seriously this is so freaking tasty um you are missing out if you're not making coconut whipped cream and it's so easy to do and then you can just pour you know the rest of the whipped cream that isn't being used that night into a container airtight container pop it in the fridge and leave it there and it's ready for whenever you want to pull it out again and it'll last well, usually, I don't know, it's usually in our fridge for a few days, maybe up to a week. And so I guess you could say this was kind of dessert before dinner because now we're going to be making dinner. So for dinner tonight, we're going to make mini baked potatoes and they're really, really good, guys. So my favorites are these colored fingerling potatoes and I really like the purple ones, any of the ones that have a lot of color to them. And so you can just put these in a pan and just a regular baking pan, bake them for about 25 minutes on, you know, 400, 450, whatever, you know, depending on your oven. Ours is usually we have to bump it up to 450. And so you just bake them and then you can add any fixings you want to the top um, we're adding some vegan cheese right now and that's gonna melt in there and then Michael's adding a little bit like a tiny pinch of sea salt and fresh ground pepper um, and then whatever else you like to add to your baked potato, we're gonna use these bake buns. Um, these are vegetarian, um, or like vegan, they're vegan bacon bits basically. Um, and so they kind of have this sort of smoky flavor. They're actually really good. And then we'll add sour cream. That was the tofu that we had. And then also some green onions. I love to pile on the green onions and Michael's adding some more of the uh, bacon bits. And so if you wanted to, you could add like guacamole would be so good on this, or you could make pico de gallo for it. You could totally do this all like Mexican fiesta style. It would be so good. And I guess that's all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Our next video, if you wanna see these, cause I will keep making these videos as long as you guys like to watch them. So I will do a vegan tamales in our next one. If you like vegan tamales, that'll be our next what I eat in a day. And we'll feature that and how to make them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Have a great day. Bye.